storytellers, tech enthusiasts, composers. Welcome to Expressivo's Music Tech YouTube channel. New and curious music technologies enabling a composer's growth are important. These technologies truly help to celebrate the arts in you. Today, I will be looking at something that has been of interest for many years chord suggestion apps and their complement web-based versions are common searches by musicians and producers. Why, remember the fake books that had jazz standard music with chords? My own father used them for years. I've tried numerous apps that have somewhat helped. However, nothing has compared with this app and plug in today's topic. Scalar 2.7 is a massive chord app that awaits your attention. It is a DAW plugin and now an iPad app. Check Plugin Boutique's website for details and purchase options linked below. The iPad app has a free and full version. In this video, I'll be looking at Scalar 2.7 from a traditional media creator's perspective. There are many excellent popular music uses of Scalar on YouTube. Check them out. Scalar 2.7 has taken weeks to navigate and understand its potential. I'm still learning its vast abilities. Scalar 2.7 has excellent tutorials on YouTube that cover startup and specific topics. In this video, I will show its ability to inspire musical composition and development. I will give examples of its use in my own creation. So, what is Scalar 2.7? Their tagline sums it up by saying, empower the composer within. Scalar provides an enormous amount of scale and chord tools to help stimulate new musical ideas, 804 scales alone. These resources work with your chord ideas and relate intelligent chord suggestions to push your chord vocabulary further. Scalar 2.7 supports your search for chords, melodies, motifs, phrases, bass lines, and progressions intuitively. You will be pleased with the results as you work with it patiently. Let's have a quick peek at the iPad's version with a sample of four chords that are common. The iPad version is mobile, of course, and almost exact to the DAW plugin. However, the plugin has its ease of dragging directly into your DAW, something I really like. Watch how Scalar 2 stretches a four chord progression to eight chords. See if you can find out how this works and I'll certainly share my ideas. And thank you as always for your support in this YouTube channel. I appreciate everything. Let's get started right away. In our first example, let's build an eight chord progression, one chord per bar. So to do this in the A section, let's press scales. And you'll see in the B section, 804 scales to choose from. So to keep this simple, I am going to choose the C major scale and you can see the diatonic chords of the C major scale. And I can play them. 
And for this example, I know I'm going to start on C major, so I drag it into its first spot in C section. And then for the next one, I want to skip it. I would like to go to the F chord here, and then the G chord here. And uh, I think I would like some other ones, but I would end on a G chord here. And now I'm going to look for some uh, some suggestions as to what could go best into these other chords. So if I push suggest, it gives me a number of suggestions for this. So if I want something for film score or movie like, you would go from the first chord and D major is a great chord that is used quite commonly. Uh, very positive and uh, typically used by John Williams in a lot of his th themes. So let's continue. We've got C, D, F, G, and then something here we could suggest. Um, let's continue on and look at other ideas. I like this idea of this A sharp or B flat going here. Um, and now let's find something that goes from G to, to A sharp or B flat chord. Now if you chose E minor seventh, that would take us to the B flat in what's known as a tritone interval. And that's, uh, again, a typical film score use. Um, and then we go from this to this. So B flat or A sharp to G major. So let's look for something. Let's push suggest again and see what they recommend for in this one. If you wanted, you could go to uh, an F and it would continue nicely and, and be uh, related to the B-flat chord and then to the G. So that's simple, straightforward. And um, you can modify any of these chords by putting the shift, pushing the shift, sorry. And then you can, um, you can, for instance, that, you can edit chord and then I can add a 13th, a G and and then we're all set. Let's listen to our final version. And there you have it. There's our first example of how simple this app is to use. Let's move on to our next example. In this example, in section A, these are chords that I selected, and you'll notice the different colors of the chord blocks, and that simply refers to the relationship they have to each other and the further apart uh, that relationship is. So then I copied them down to section C, and I used the suggest feature to give me some further uh, ideas of how I can extend the progression to eight bars and that's what I've done. So here's what it sounds like. And what I did was I copied these chords into staff pad and uh, orchestrated them in, in strings. So here's this example. I hope you enjoy it.
here's an example of a set of chords or a chord progression that I have played directly into Scalar through the detect mode in section A. I place my iPad near the speaker of my DAW and, and you could do this of course with a piano and simply just play the chords one after the other at any speed and it simply notates them. It has an excellent ability to, to listen and to react. Um, sometimes it takes a little while for it to, uh, if you make a few errors, you just have to delete and start again um, or replace that one chord. But, but basically, once you learn how to do it, you're all set. And um, after I played that, it, uh, in the B section, detected or suggested that this progression was reminiscent of a mixolydian mode which it terms as positive bluesy rocky or poppy that's kind of cute and kind of interesting to see its descriptions um, quite useful if you're looking for a certain mood um, to uh, help guide you into finding the correct or um, most suitable progression so what i want to do now is i want to take these chords and I want it by pushing below them, I drag my finger over them all on the A section, and then I simply drag them to the bottom of the C section. And I'm all set now. And uh, what I wanna do now is I wanna find one more chord to fill it out so it ends up back on C major. So I have this plus sign and I have one more chord that I can add that I would like to add so that for this uh, demonstration, it's one chord for each bar. And I'm going to ask in it to suggest, and it's done that. And I'm just curious, I look at some of the suggestions and um, I'd like to put something where it says C sharp major, and what I'm gonna do is make room for that. So I basically drag it to the end and then I push the lower left corner shift key and I select the C sharp major and I say replace by rest. And then in there, I am going to insert another uh, chord. Now, what I like to do is before that rest, I like to hear the chord. And then I like to hear the chord after. Okay, so let's quickly hear the whole chord progression. And don't forget that I uh, basically told Scalar to make sure each chord is two beats long. You can change that up in the settings up here under chord duration here you can say four beats and so on but just for this brevity of this uh, section here i'd like to just be quick and show you this so here's what it sounds like okay so again as i look at the b and i look what's come before it and what's coming after it, I look at some of the examples and I try. I don't like that. And I, I think I like that. So B to E major, C sharp, and then to C major. Very, very evocative and emotive. Okay, so I'm happy with that and I would now like to play the final progression. And don't forget under voice lock at the top, you can spread the notes out of your chords um, by pushing dynamic or voice grouping. The dynamic, this is what it sounds like. push um, open voicing and you can actually add 
all sorts of things. You see one octave and guitar voicing. Let's go with open voicing. You're gonna hear a little bit of a wider spread. And don't forget that I am looking at this scalar 2.7 as a compositional tool for chord patterns, not uh, for it to play my music and to create songs directly on this, using this. You can do that. And as I mentioned, there are so many uh, YouTube uh, videos about this in popular music where they do this and you can actually assign each note to a different instrument um, and then you can have a bass line, uh, a, a melody line and if you go under the various features of perform you see the kind of things you can assign. So if for me I find interesting is performances and then I find this very interesting. So avant-garde, and let's just try for, for let's just say uh, seven. And if I play that, this is what it sounds like. So that just gives me some ideas or if I want, I might be inspired to play an instrument along with that and be um, inspired to, uh, to write a melody that goes with that. Um, so that's an example of that, uh, the perform feature using the, in this case, the performance feature. But as I said, there's quite, there's so many things to look at there that you can experiment with. Okay, so let's move on to another example of someone else's work that is under the tab of either songs or artists. Need some ideas? Well, under the songs section prepared by the company, Scalar, uh, that um, has produced these chord progressions, um, you can choose in so many different genres. So for example, I'm going to choose cinematic, and then I'm going to scroll down to soundtrack, and you'll see it's already prepared this chord progression. Let's listen to it. can already hear a melody for this and I already get a, a, a mood and an a, a inspiration to work with it. And if I wanted to uh, open the voicing, and then if you wanted to perform some use the performances and I'll choose my favorite avant-garde and let's say number seven and this is what it sounds like. So you can of course play with that and choose something else um, that if I say expressivo and if I say crescendo just for the sake of it, just to try it, let's see what that sounds like. Wow, interesting ideas. And again, for me, that is just to inspire this to create a new piece that I am going to write every aspect except uh, the chord progression and maybe possibly modify it. So let's move on to another example. Let's have a look now at some of the artists that have prepared and uh, included their chord progressions. So. Let's just scroll through, and as you can see, there's quite a few. So I'm going to go with Sound Candy Studio and number two, and let's listen to the three chords. Very 
lovely. And there, the B section detected scale is the G major scale, happy, light, bright, and positive. So I'm going to add these chords with one in between for me to uh, go through suggest and just listen. Now that goes well because F sharp goes nicely to B7. hear that. And the nice thing is you can always try a different... I think I'll switch that to there. And go back to where we started. to the ear and then let's try that and then let's try to go to uh, a, the fifth of the chord of G major D major so I would suggest um, maybe uh, Something like that. I was thinking of something else, but that's, let's try that. And then it goes back to G major. Uh, so that's an example of how you can extend these, in this case, three chords to eight. And I'm still not happy with that right there but you can modify that you can you can play around with that so there you go so this is another example of scalar 2.7 and uh, I I am uh, amazed and again I encourage you to try it and to uh, be very patient and learn its full capabilities over possibly weeks to months um, and don't forget, this is the iPad version and the digital audio workstation DAW version is a plugin, which may be uh, more to your taste. But this video was uh, for this purpose of using the iPad um, so that uh, you could get a classical composer sort of style cinematic um, viewpoint. So let's move on. To sum up, Scalar 2.7 is an easy to use tool for musicians and composers of all skill levels. It provides a library of over 2,000 scales and modes and allows users to easily switch between them to find the perfect fit for their composition. Additionally, it offers a chord library that can generate chord progressions and find chords that work well together. Scalar 2.7 includes several other features that can help composers in their workflow. These include a chord analyzer that can identify chords within an audio file, a MIDI controller mapping system that allows users to control the software with their own MIDI controller, and the ability to export MIDI data for use in other music production software. Overall, Scalar 2.7 can be a valuable tool for musicians and composers, allowing them to explore new chord progressions and harmonic possibilities and helping to streamline their workflow. So why not give Scalar 2.7 a trial and watch your musical vocabulary and understanding of music theory expand and evolve. See you in the next video. Take the best of care.